Feel this? Wait for it. It's gonna get a whole lot worse. Welcome to another video. My name is Jared Watney. I create social media content for super yachts and I fly bush planes around South Africa when I'm not sailing the seas. Official. Yacht Bella, the Instagram account, is now officially started. As you can tell, there is nothing on there. Blank canvas. Blank canvas. So I would stay tuned and see what exciting stuff we managed to put in there. Jared. Absolutely fantastic on this wonderful day. How could you not be excited about rough and rolly weather? Yes. Usual daily update today, um, straight from routing. Weather's gonna be uh, crappy, as you can see. A little bumpy, a little rolly. They also told me that the water is gonna be the wettest today as it's ever been. Right now we're running at about 1850 RPMs and that for this boat pushes it up towards its 85% load mark, which is, a cruising speed that the boat likes. The downfall to that is you start chewing a little bit more gas than you'd expect. And when that happens, the boat gets a little bit lighter. So obviously the fuel stores are going down, the weight's dropping off the boat, and now she becomes a little bit more buoyant. So as we become lighter and we get further across, we're gonna start noticing the boat doing having a little bit more movement. How are the girls doing today? They're all down. They're all down. <laughs> I'm up. It's just you, eh? It's just me. Uh, looks like Dominican Republic, and then as we get a little bit further along, we'll be coming up towards Puerto Rico. How many boats are we on? Ooh. Uh, a lot, actually. 30, 33. No way! 33. I think I said 34, 36. That one there, they've already, these two here have already been counted. So much more than any yeah, we're of us were expecting. Yeah, it's going to be the high, highest, I essentially the one that chose the highest number wins. Yes. <laughs> I think that person just did it as a joke. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Have you got any tattoos? Got a few. Had any struggle ever with getting a job because of them? Um, no, so far not. No. Well, generally they hired engineers down in the engine room, so we're not allowed to you know, associate with guests. So we okay. Yeah, but I have also hired you twice. Yeah, you've hired me twice. I've hired him twice. I've had, I I'm a glutton for punishment. And I fired got, him twice as well. I've got more tattoos every time I come back. <laughs> I still get hired. <laughs> Morning, chef. Morning. Top of the morning to you. Feeling better today? I'm feeling fine the whole time, to tell you the truth. Oh, Just a little go. bit tired with the swell. Makes you a bit, a bit sleepy. But yeah, all good. Half the crew are down. So I'm going to do something so simple. I'm going to make a nice roasted tomato soup. Got my tomato roasting in the oven now. And I'm going to do some uh, grilled cheese toasties just so they can get something in their stomach. I'm going to do a pulled pork one, a barbecue sauce. I had, uh, after I'd done tacos the other day, I've got some uh, pork left over that I braised from the shoulder. 
Then I'm going to do some gherkins in it with some Mexican cheese. Well, not Mexican, American. However. Then just tomato ones for the veggies and cheese ones for the plain simple ones. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it should be interesting. So you've got tattoos? I do indeed. Yeah, just uh, quite a big one on my leg. Uh, have you ever struggled at all getting a job because of your tattoos? No, I haven't. With me, I think as a chef, it's, I think it's really different because I'm in the galley all day and if I want to go and see guests, I normally chuck on a pair of trousers. And yeah, they never say anything. I mean, my boss has seen it and she just went, oh, that's a nice picture. Nothing, hasn't really cared that much about it. And beards, are you allowed to grow a beard as a chef? Well, unfortunately I haven't hit puberty yet, so I can't grow a beard. And <laughs> But uh, yeah, you are allowed a beard. I know a lot of chefs that have beards. But yeah, I think it's fine. A lot of the deck crew have beards. As long as it's maintained, I think. I think you're fine. Do you have any tattoos, man? Why is the beach? <laughs> any struggle getting a job? I mean, you're making it up to first officer now. Have you had any issues so far? Yeah. First year in yachting. Excuse me, got a mouthful of nuts. Yeah, very hard. Getting into yachting. I think once you're in the yachting, it's okay, but finding your first job is going to be, yeah, it's going to be difficult for some people. I think once you've got word of mouth that you, you're a worker, you can get around. So yachting is such a small industry. Yeah. You know, people find out about people very quickly. Yeah. Um, All I say is it just doesn't do you any favors. If you were a candidate for 100% of the jobs and you got tattoos, you're no longer a candidate for 100% of the jobs. No. I think now tattoos are becoming more acceptable. So your bigger boats, your bigger private ch charter boats. I'd rather someone without tattoos. Than tattoos all depends you know? on the Especially if you, it does depend on the tattoo. It depends what position you're working for, you know. You're going to be on deck and you're going to be visible to guests all the time. Tattoos, not so much. If you're an engineer, chef, you know, you don't, you've got no interaction with guests. I mean, in your case, the moment you wear a long sleeve, your tattoos are hidden. Yeah. But, but even then, it was still a problem. Sleeve. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. And just like that, we're about to see another sunset. Day seems to go pretty quick out here, um, especially when you're on watch and kind of the shifts are changing all the time and see a couple new faces. Nobody's been ill, ill, just kind of that lethargic, lazy feeling from the rocking of the ocean. Um, we should be arriving just before five o'clock tomorrow in St. Martin, trying to make the five o'clock bridge. If you know anything about the St. Martin Bridge, you'll know it's extremely narrow and it's going to require a fair bit of skill from Captain Luke to get it in there nice and easily. So hoping to get the drone up and show you what that looks like. I've had a bump there before on a boat, so it's really no joke and it takes the entire crew to make sure that that boat just slips in between the bridge. So have a Google, see what the bridge looks like now so you know what we're going into tomorrow. But other than that, thanks for watching. A reminder that we're posting daily Instagram updates on our Instagram. So um, check out the links below, otherwise we'll see you guys tomorrow. Get this out.